worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy to be Then those who gladly yes, yes. received his word was baptized, and that day about 3,000 souls were added to them, and they continued, hold on to that word, continued, steadfastly, nothing could move them, in the apostles' doctrine, fellowship, and the breaking of bread, and in prayers. That's what, that's what Pastor Clark was saying. A victorious church is a church that gladly receives the word of God. On this day of Pentecost, Peter stood up and he preached about this Jesus. The Jesus that you crucified, that rose on the third day. He preached and proclaimed the gospel to every nation. And on that day, the victorious church was established. Yeah, yeah. Now we messed it up. We have totally messed up church since wow. that day. My God. But we're trying to get back on track over here at the temple. Amen. Yeah. We're trying to let go of all the stuff, let go of all the mess, let go of all the drama, let go of all the program mess that you have to go through. Yeah. And we just want to praise God. We want to pray to God. Yeah. We want to proclaim this gospel. Because that is the only way that people are going to come crying. What must be saved. And these people on that day and at now that the church is established, so 
as the deacon said earlier, they're being persecuted, so the church is being scattered, but that was by God's design, so that the church could spread yeah, yeah, yeah. to the various nations. So they left, they took the gospel home with them. So they had church, they had the, the regular temple worship. But these people yeah. began to go from house to house and churches That's were it. established in individual homes and they did it daily. Yeah. Yeah. Continuously praying, yeah. praying, yeah. and breaking bread together. Yeah. Now they weren't just eating. They wasn't just fellowshipping. No, no. They were actually partaking of communion. Because yeah. every day they wanted to remember what they had just learned about Jesus and what he had just did for them. So every day, they went from house to house to where there was a church. They had fellowship together and they had communion. Yes, yes, yes. Think about that. We do it once a month. And some folks stay home on first Sunday. I, I still try to figure that one out. Yes, yes. If I'm going to stay home, it's not going to be on first Sunday. That's the only time I get to do it in remembrance of me yes. as often as yes, you do it. Yes. We only do it once and you stay home. But these people, this early church, did it daily, continuously. Yeah. You know what continuous means, right? Yes. Yeah. They didn't stop. They don't stop. So they didn't stop praising. They didn't stop preaching. They didn't stop praying. And they didn't stop fellowshipping. And they didn't stop communion. That's the victorious church. Yeah. Yeah. Right there. So if we're going to be victorious, we are the church. The church is in us. Yeah. And so each day, every day, we ought to be looking for somebody we can have church. Ooh, have church with. That's the Bible community said. What you waiting on? We need to have communion every day at home. God just told me that. He just dropped that in my spirit. But every day, go to somebody's house. Talk somebody up. Be that victorious church. Proclaim the gospel. Praise him. Glorify him. Pray for one another. And have communion. That's our theme. That's the victorious church. That's the praying church. And the praising church. And the proclaiming church. What's going to happen if we do that? God will add to the church. Daily. There's a daily again. Such as should be saved. So if you wonder why the chairs are not full, because you don't drop down on your day. Uh -oh. You fall short of your continuous. Uh -oh. You're not steadfast. Uh -oh. And praising, uh -oh. praying, and proclaiming, uh -oh. and breaking bread together. Y'all, yeah, yeah, let me see some house churches spring up over the next 12 months. So we can talk about it on the 15th year anniversary. Amen. God bless you. What an amazing God we serve. And we're over here at the temple trying to be that victorious church. And today we're thanking God for 14 years of doing that. Amen. Amen. And my favorite professor and his wife went in the house. I will take out these here shoes and run around a few times and say, Y'all ain't been through what I've been through. Woo. But we're going to bring forth our illustrious pastor, the great Dr. Richard Douglas Clark, with his tall, dark, and handsome, good looking self. I didn't need y'all to know. He is going to come and he is going to introduce to us one of my favorite, my favorite professor, actually, other than Pastor Clark. This man helped to teach me some theology. My favorite class was the Minor Prophets. He worked that day. I've never forgotten. And then he's going to introduce our speaker. And then after he introduces our speaker, then our director of music will bring back our Simonic Selection. And then we will get our filet mignon. Master Clark. Let the church say amen. amen. Let the redeemer of the Lord say amen. amen. She was okay until she talked about.
about tall, dark, and handsome. I looked around, who's she talking about? <laughs> but why don't you give the Lord a round of applause for 14 years? He is truly large and in charge, and, and I'm just humble enough to just um, sit back and watch what God is going to do. And I tell you all the time, church, that both the wife and I are running. Yeah. Can I just say it again? Yeah. Both the wife and I are running. Yeah. And as a church, if you're going to keep up with us, you're going to have to run with us. And if you don't run with us, guess what? So I'm praying that our church would put on your cleats, put on your running shoes. God is getting ready to take us somewhere to a new level. And, and God is so unique. He, he, he said that, that he's going to do a thing in this season, in the last days. And, and we're, we're, I, I just see what he's doing. And so I'm just so elated. And I'm so honored to have my friend to grace our presence, the pastor, Dr. Brian C. Wyatt of the Mount Calvary Missionary Baptist Church of Sacramento. Um, I, I would be remiss if I didn't take a moment to say that he is one of God's chosen. He is a prophet, preacher, priest. And he is one that have been not only called, but he has been commissioned by God. His reputation precedes him. He is one that loves God and loves people. And, and he is, I, I taught with him in seminary. He is one of God's the best theologically sound and hermeneutically correct preacher. I can't say that about a lot of preachers. But, but, but when he's like E.M. Hutton, when he speaks, when he speaks, everybody's listening. So after we will have heard again our voices, the next voice you will hear will be that of our speaker, the doctor illustrious Brian C. Wyatt. Amen. Put your hands together and give him a Holy Ghost hallelujah welcome. Amen. 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 I dare not omit. We did tell our members to bring guests and so we don't want to leave just in case some of them are not coming back without acknowledging those who brought special guests today. So if you would stand with your guests and just introduce them to us please starting with Miss Kathy and then Miss uh, Barbara Good to see you, Miss Isabel. This is my best friend. Amen. This whole wide world. Amen. Uh, this is Rita Donahue, and she's a mother at her church. Amen. And so that's why your, your church is. Okay. Let her chew on story. I bring you greetings from the Father's House Fellowship Church in Antioch, California. Amen. I'm blessed to be able to work with you this morning and this afternoon. <laughs> And I also know of David yeah. uh, and, and his wife, and Syria. But um, I'm very grateful to be here. Thank you. Amen. Well, you look lovely as always, and we're so happy to finally have you in our presence. Miss yeah. Kathy talks about you all the time. Yeah. Miss Barbara. for you this afternoon, and we're just happy to have you in our presence, and now we're going to turn into the hands of Miss Rebecca for our final sermonic selection. Just one. 
just call on Jesus. Hallelujah. Just call on him. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. give me Jesus.
Just give me Jesus, just give me 